Hi, and welcome to this video on finding the missing coefficients. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an equation. Um, and the one letter here, the one coefficient is missing. But you're also given a point that is on that line. So let's go through this step by step and see how we can find what B equals. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the point and I'm going to put it, plug in the X in the equation. And see, I'm writing the equation in the same order. I'm just replacing the X and Y with the numbers in the point. So that should be a negative 13. Then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this equation. So I'm going to multiply negative 4 times 7 and get negative 28. I'm going to multiply negative 13 times B. So that's negative 13 B's equals 11. So now that I have simplified my equation, I have a two-step equation to solve. So I'm, you always add and subtract before you divide. So I'm going to add the opposite of 28 to both sides. I'm sorry, the opposite of negative 28 to both sides. And that means I have a negative 13b over here, and I have 39 over here. And then I'm, to solve this, I do the opposite of multiply, which is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 13. So b equals negative 3. And uh, depending on the wording of your question, this could be finished. Or if you're then supposed to rewrite the equation, then you would rewrite the equation that you were started with. I already had negative 4x plus negative 3y equals 11. And to make that so it doesn't have double signs, I would write negative 4x minus 3y equals 11. So let's look at a second example where this time the a is what's missing. So let's go through those steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the point that's given. x is 1 third minus 12, y is 1 half. And that equals negative 5. So this is a point that is on that line. So this is going to help me figure out what a is. So now I have 1 third a. 12 times a half is 6 equals negative 5. So now I have a two-step equation to solve. And to solve, I do the opposite. At first, I add or subtract. So the opposite of subtracting 6 is to add 6 to both sides. So 1 third a equals negative 5 plus 6 is 1. Now I have 1 third times a. So you can either, the opposite of multiply is divide, but since I'm multiplying by a fraction, the way to simplify this or to solve this would be to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply 1 third times 3 and multiply 1 times 3 over 1. So I multiply both sides by the reciprocal and that will help to um, get rid of the fraction. So I have a equals 3. Now I can be finished if that's all I had to do, or I can rewrite the equation as 3x minus 12y equals negative 5. So here's our last example with um, the steps written out. So I'll do each part under the steps. So I have this equation and um, ax plus 6y equals negative 10, and then this point that's on that line. So let me begin by doing the first step. And then the second step is to simplify. And now I'm going to solve. And I'm going to solve it up here. I'm just going to add 18 to both sides, which gives me 2a equals 8. So divide by 2, divide by 2, a equals 4. And then if you're, um, if the test or question asks you to, then the last step can be to rewrite the equation. So that'd be 4x plus 6y equals negative 10. So there the, it is, um, finding the missing coefficient in standard form in four easy steps. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.